Okay, so Jersey Bread. This is the new film from Greg Russo. Right, he wrote and directed. He um, also produces along with Danielle Reinika. Um, it is executive produced by Lorenzo Antiochi. It is co-produced by Ana Fernandez Perez, uh, Viba Patel. It is co-produced by Gino Caffarelli, Richard De uh, no, Glenn Garland, right, Jerry Pass. It is associate produced by Sal Tesoro. Charlie Phoenix, Vibal Patel, and line produced by Richard D'Angelo. Okay, Till Nerman took care of cinematography. Gino Caffarelli was on casting. Corey Diskin, production design, costume design. We have Iana Britman. Hair and makeup is Erica Ensminger and Ray Sintron. Okay, so our cast. Right, Vincent Napolatione is played by Chris Tardio. Um, we have got his former best friend, Anthony Carbone, played by Lorenzo and Antonucci, right? There is uh, da, 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 um, Vincent's best friend, Jimmy, played by Gino Caffarelli. Um, we've got Vincent's cousin, Little Vincent, played by Lucas Salvagano. Uh, Vicky's played by Ava Palamo. Uh, do, 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 who else do we have? Um, to do Frankie Carbonon, um, Anthony's cousin, brother, I think, brother, yeah, brother, played by Jeremy Luke. Uh, there's Nicole, played by Delia Cotto, uh, Samantha, played by Anis. Almonte, Crazy Angelo, played by Patrick Borello, Uncle Sal, played by Sonny Marinelli, Capo Gino, played by Joey Catalano, uh, Vicky, played by Ava Palamo, got Haley, played by Sophia Del Rio, F. FBI agent Donald Conley, played by Christopher Mormando. Uh, his partner, FBI agent Diascino, played by Kelly Ann Tursi. There's Dirty Jers, played by Eric Arndt, a.k.a. Enzo One. Uh, Patsy, played by Al Lina. Rocky, played by Joseph Ferranti, Joey, played by Stevie Gutman. Um, young, a young Anthony is played by Zane Claudio. Do, do, do. Who are Pizza Joe is played by Anthony Desio. Skinny Lou, played by Chris Camaggi. Uh, Nikki D, played by Nick Petio. Um, Jimmy's mother is played by Teresa Canstiano Farrell. Yeah, I think that's all our, our major peoples. The gist of the uh, the gist of the story is computer savvy. Uh, in North Nila, computer savvy New Jersey mob prince who's been 
recognizing organized, reorganizing organized crime, gets challenged for the top spot by his hot tempered former childhood best friend. So that's the gist of this, right? So, as I said, this is written and directed by Greg Russo, not Mortal Kombat Greg Russo. There are a lot of Russos in this game, people. It can get mad confusing at times, right? But, uh, yeah, this is a, it's a mob film, right? And what Russo wanted to do is update it, right? Because kind of gone are the days of, you know, the way the mob used to operate, right? Now there's, gam you know, you've got gambling online, you've got crypto, there's all of these different things. So he's trying to show this new look of it, right? Which, yeah, you know, that's brought up. It makes sense, right? All of that makes sense. You'd be like, yeah, obviously. No one, why would people be running things like they did in the 70s, 80s, 90s? You know, shit has changed. <laughs> you know, I mean? we, everything's digital now. There's different ways to avoid. You know, there's new ways to get caught, cool, obviously. So if you're making a mob film, surely you update it. So that was that was the impetus for Jersey Bread. Now, there is still a whole heap of caricatures here. Right? Whole heap of caricatures and just scenarios we've seen before, which is all fine. Right? Because, you know, Russo hasn't done them. So it's Russo's opportunity to tell this kind of story. It's, I think, if you're a fan of the mob genre, right? If, if you will eat up most things, you know, that you see of this vein, then the film will probably work for you. Because, you know, the script, it's serviceable, right? We're, we're not hitting anything out the park, right? There's a, there are some clunky interactions, things that don't necessarily make sense, you know, like when people call someone something and it's just like, I don't know if people are just always, you know what I mean, you, you just use the name, right, it, it can get a bit odd at times, and also, right, you, you're trying to do this thing where you, you've got these twists and these turns and things like that, which is all well and good, if you're selling a character as being real savvy, right, knowledgeable, understanding what the game is, then that person will also understand the old trappings of the game, right, the way things used to be. And we've heard Vincent talk about it, right? We know that there was a point before Anthony went back to jail that things nearly went south. So Vincent understands. Vincent knows what Anthony is capable of and the, uh, you know, the pitfalls of it all. So when we're watching this and no one's really planning like, there's, there doesn't seem to be contingencies, right? Knowing that people are going to pull certain things and, you know, certain things could happen. Like, where, where's the fault, right? Which is odd. When you watch things, you know, the old mob films, people were just like, yo, we got to, what did they say? Um, go to the mattresses. Right? You know what I mean? Like, you have people taking precautions. Now, obviously, you can take precautions, but people can still get you, right? Which, that's fine. 
because you saw someone recognizing something and going, okay, we've got to be careful. Yeah, they got oftentimes they got sold out by friends, led led into situations that they thought were gonna be legit. But that's the nature of it, right? With this, we don't see that. Like we don't really see anyone taking those precautions, like having that fall, which then just makes the film seem a little bit odd for me. Right? For me watching, I'm just like, okay, this is all well and good, but surely, right, these people understand, and there would be some sort of precaution. Now, as I said, it doesn't necessarily have to work, right? It doesn't have to work, but there should be something. There should be something in place. So that was the bit that, that, like, the biggest issue. It gets a little convoluted with, you know, this cousin and that cousin, and you know, like, oh, I want mine and I want mine, and you know, just all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's you know, like, you've got those classic films, right? The the Johnny the, the Johnny the, the Donny Brascos. The Godfathers, Goodfellows, Casino, right? Just those films that are just like, yo, know, this is this is great, right? A Bronx Tale, The Recruit, right? Like, there's some killer films. There's some killer films that deal with all of this, you know. So there's a there's this high bar. There's this real high frigging bar when it comes to this type of film. But there are other films, right? There's there's still those other ones, right? Like we've got the uh the the Scarface prequel. You know? There's things like the Scarface prequel. And people enjoy that. And I feel that's what we have with Jersey Bread. You know, if you just want something to throw on, you don't really have to think about too tough. Then Jersey Bread could be for you. You know, if you're from the area, it, it could be a fun watch. You recognize, be like, oh yeah, I used to go there, and ah, oh, that's that's that pizzeria, and that's that place. You know, it could be that. And maybe you know some people that are a little bit similar. It does feel a little caricature-ish, though. But yeah, look, these films, you know, they work for people. You know what I mean? They work for people. They're not for everyone. But they have their fans. So with Jersey Bread, it will be going to select cinemas in the US on the 29th of March. And it will then be hitting VODs for everyone on the 2nd of April. So if you want some mob action, right? You want some mob action that you don't have to think about, right? Throw it on, wind down after a long day. Jersey bread could be for you, right? I will say, I thought that, um, oh gosh, Chris Tardio, Chris Tardio was solid. Chris Tardio was pretty solid in this film, you know? It, 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 it's counterbalancing some of the other performances, which were a little bit wooden in places, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you've got that. But, yeah, as I said, right, Jersey Bread, li you know, it's a limited run in the cinema on the 29th of March, VOD from the 2nd of April. There you go.